hello everyone welcome to make it easy hope you all are well so today we will learn about classification of different types of asic design so you know what is asic asic is application specific integrated circuit so from the name you can understand what is what it is basically right application specific integrated circuit that means this is a integrated circuit that is designed for a specific kind of application right so in this lecture we will learn about the classification of different kinds of application specific integrated circuit so let's start with it, this okay ASIC ASIC is firstly categorized into two parts one is full custom another one is semi custom full custom design is that one where we can't change or update the design and here we can change or update now next coming to the design or the more parts of semi custom here full custom is not having further uh, division so moving with the semi custom design this semi custom design is divided into again two parts those are cell based and array based this array based design is having channel gate array the cell based design is again divided into standard cell and pld you know what is pld programmable logic device the pld is divided into four categories those are spld cpld fpga gal gal is generic array logic spld is simple programmable logic device talking about further division the spld is divided into three parts PAL programmable array logic PLA programmable logic array PROM programmable programmable read only memory so if you are told to draw the classification of ASIC design see this is not so pretty to see but you should take some time and draw it carefully because this carries sometimes some in some exams the teachers give it in five marks also so this is the design ASIC basically divided into full custom and semi custom semi custom divided into cell based and array based the array based design is the channel get array type the cell based design is into two parts 
standard cell and PLD the PLD is classified into four parts SPLD, CPLD, FPG and GAL SPLD is categorized into three parts PAL, PLA and PROM so in this lecture we just knew about the basic classification of different types of ASIC design right but in our VLSI course we have to learn each of them in details and how we can uh, draw circuits using those those also we have to learn but uh, here we only learned about the classification so thank you for watching hope this was helpful